Right. Let's uh, explore and see if we can find the council, allies of the council, so we know what to vote. How did you vote in yesterday's election? I was all for changing the name of the Balatron 3000. What a stupid name. Okay. What did you change it to? Never mind me, I'm just looking. Seems interesting. Grumpos. As you can see, uh, all the characters have this color behind their name. We don't know who these are yet, but um, teal or something, uh, white, green, yellow. It's also part of their main outfit. So um, as you see, Dr. Bowman wears a lot of green, um, the color of uh, boots coat. Uh, Grompos and his white beard and pal and his yellow accents um, and the uh, what's it called the mistake actually has colors as well uh, it's a bit difficult to tell here um, doesn't actually say How, but you can see it when you start using it. So all of the mistec has a color, and the color of the mistec corresponds to colors here on the characters. The characters actually do more damage with a mistec that corresponds to their color. So as you can see here, it says Miss Affinity, excellent. Uh, she's got fire. It's good, but it's not the best for her because poison would suit her better, uh, Queen. Um, this character will benefit from using fire slags. Uh, there's nothing in the game that explains this though. Uh, it's something you have to figure out yourself uh, by checking the character screen here uh, and uh, trialing. Uh, it also doesn't really say that the Bane uh, is white. That's also something you just have to figure out by using it. Um, it makes some sense, I guess, in game. Uh, you are experimenting with something that wasn't previously known. Uh, so it would somewhat make sense story-wise that you don't know anything of this. We have a wonderful film community on Democritus. Ever since Outworld and movie equipment became available two years ago, we've been shooting our own films and learning the medium. Both shuttle landing in Hangar Bay 94 and Vocop shooting Stun One that camera were this year's standouts. Alright, keep uh, practicing. We need to find uh, more of those. Wow, it's nice to see our world is in Votown. Democritus tends to keep to itself. Personally, I wish we had more contact with other worlds. Cool. There are reports that the planet of scientists blew up somehow. That's gotta be a joke. How is this possible? It did. We were there. Uh, I'll have to come back with Pal for that one. Oh, he's got six pearls, doesn't he? I think human males such as yourself are incredibly attractive, but they don't seem very interested in Democritan wom women. This is Chrissy, by the way. 
I guess we're not lumpy enough for you. Your face. Being an outworlder, how do you feel about Proposition 8, which would forbid marriages between ring dwellers and human planet dwellers? Being an ally of the Council, I know how the vote will sway. I'm just curious what you think. I'll tell you which way they voted if the man with the gorgeous beard would be willing to give me a kiss. <laughs> Come on, Grumpos. Do your best. <laughs> Uh, I'll pass, but I know a detective who will kiss anything. Let's not insult her. Plus, Grumpos probably hasn't had any action for a while. <laughs> Alright. Beautiful. I'm <laughs> feeling a little faint. Too bad the High Council voted yes on Proposition 8. I hope I'll bag one of you sooner or later. Thanks for the thrill. So, oh, now it's added. Shall marriages between ring dwellers? Why is it too bad? Shouldn't it be okay for her? I thought she liked them. It doesn't say here that I've got the solution to this one, but it does say on my voting ballot, so I'm alright with that. Um, now what? Did we talk to him? There you are! Do I know you? Fessiatorics. <laughs> right. The goal. Uh, Mr. Kieber wants you to know that the council is still in session and will remain so for quite a while longer. Okay, that was... We apologize for any inconvenience, but I'm sure you understand our position. Domestic matters must take precedence in this case. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get it. in here. Nothing. This looks like a... Yes. Six. Yeah, we already had that. Maybe it's updated now in my... Uh... Yes, it has. Okay. Right. His shirt isn't very well ironed. Does that matter? Look at his pants. And his shoes are scuffed. He must not know what he's talking about. Of course not. Magnificent speaker, isn't he? In addition to teaching public speaking at the university, he's also the chairman of Bipedri Salvation, a non-profit organization dedicated to the plight of the little workers. He told me he was made aware of the High Council's vote on Proposition 6 this morning. Ah, yes, the, uh export of the meat and although I couldn't get him to spill the beans I felt like I was wearing him down I'm sure someone can get him to spill the beans I've only got one thing to say to anyone thinking of voting against proposition 6 and it's this Democritans do not eat bipedry meat period bipedry are too productive to waste as food most ring dwellers are unaware that nearly 3,000 bipedry were slaughtered on the surface of Democritus for the purpose of an outdoor activity called globbering. Bipedry bound for slaughter are often crowded into cargo pens made for smaller animals and travel many cycles without sustenance. Aww. It's painful and cruel and we must put a stop to it. It's not a collection... Uh, uh, Okay. I myself am an ally of the council who believes in death with dignity for every bipedry. And we are open to discourse. I've got a feeling... Yeah. Annoy him.
Haha. <laughs> I hate to interrupt, but my two cents are worth as much as yours, and maybe even a penny more. Do you see me standing on a soapbox spouting my why and wherefores? I just want a moment to tell a little story from my yesteryears, and I ain't spinning no tail or weaving no yarn here. It's pure truth. Oh, Alejandro. <laughs> Oh no, everything went bad. Oh no. Oof. Oof. Cold-hearted people such as yourself are the reason that the High Council will vote no on Proposition 6. Alright. We've heard your voice. We know your opinion. Please, excuse yourself. Oh no. That's poor Bippies. Let's never tell that guy with the... Um, what's it called? That we're taking the photographs of for, uh, of the red bippies for. This dude has six uh, dots. There are farms in the agricultural sections of the ring that grow hundreds of varieties of vegetables. One of these vegetables, the squizzle beet, is quite poisonous. If the chef doesn't prepare it just right, it can be fatal. But it's the poison that gives the beet its di distinctive flavor. If Proposition 3 passes, it will outlaw the preparation of squizzle beets, which sucks, because I can't get enough of them. Um, I guess this guy will have more information on that. As well as personally being an ally of the High Council, my sister is an assistant for one of them. Last night she told me how they voted on Proposition 3. My, my, my. Did you see his eyes light up? I bet you're just dying to know how they voted. You better take advantage of this situation. Yes, quick thinking, my friend. I just noticed I'm rather thirsty. I'll tell you how the council voted on Proposition 3 if you bring me a tasty quack quack juice from Jijun Juices. Right. Ugh. Where's the juices? Juices. Juice bar. Not here. Alright. Let's see. Might be. Excellent choice. Yep, yeah, there it is. Quack quack juice, eh? We'll get you some of that. Uh, here. Welcome to the juices. It is our mission to provide the voters of Democritus with the highest standards of excellence in the purchasing, juicing and fresh delivery of our drinks. Yeah, yeah, give me the most expensive one, of course. Still cheap though. Totally worth it. Out of the way, time minder. I have a juice to deliver. This way? Yeah. You there. I didn't think you were actually going to get me a juice. You've made my day. The inside scoop is that the High Council will vote yes on Proposition 3. Oh. Poor guy. Well, I guess he'll have to learn to live without it. Yep. Too bad for you, dude. I'll 
we go. We've got uh, quite a few already. Half of them, I think. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Welcome to one of Section 8's pleasant vantage points. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Do I have it in my in my inventory now? No. No. It's, oh, it's um, alphabetical, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't say I've got one. No. Uh, did I talk to you already? Oh yes, yes, yes. You did. You there? I sense a demonstration forming down there. I should call for backup. Can't have every voice heard, know what I mean? Mm hmm. Right. It's one of them, none of them have six pearls. There's a few of us who think the High Council is ineffective as a form of government. If the High Council decides the initiatives and everybody votes how the Council would vote, is that really a democracy? I think Hal Halpert's the only member of the Council who represents how the everyday person really thinks. Yeah, okay. Can't wait to meet this hell. Nothing here. Uh, that's the boot. Yeah, we saw that. Oof, vomit torture. Just the thought. Ugh. Disgusting in so many ways. Okay. Let's check. Is someone going to order? So many votes and ballots and petitions and straw polls and referendums, it's too overwhelming. Is that why you can't choose what to order? It's like too many choices. Quit complaining, you're married. Why do you need time with yourself? <laughs> uh, just because you're married doesn't mean you give up time for yourself. They're gonna vote me off the committee. Biff. I wasn't good enough, and they're gonna throw me out on my hide. I left to live in section 3 with the rest of the burnouts. How am I gonna tell my parents? I don't know, dude. You're on your own. Hey, you. Don't talk about the Emperor. He was an evil man. We're glad he's gone. Okay. The Emperor who died a year ago, before you had any contact with the outside world. Pretty. Heal grease. Can I buy stuff here? Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So it shows here who can actually use uh, the item. Aha! I can get more of the um, uh, what's it called? Mistech. So the poison mistech would actually be good for roll. Uh, fair. Uh, owned by party six. 21, 39, oh, there's more, please me not loop, okay, protects from winky and nuts, oh, that would be super handy if I could afford it right now, uh, glowdance, how many have we got, four, let's get, And let's get that, um, uh, let's wait, see if we can uh, find some, because, excellent choice, I know, um, up till now we haven't actually picked up any mistake yet, but once you uh, have this explanation, 
you start looking out for it and therefore you find it. Uh, this is the vocabulator. Oh, so that's what they changed the Balatron 3000 to? I've been watching you. Are you going to talk to everyone in the city? Probably. Oh, hey. Kordekam. Do you have a ship? You're gonna get me out of here. Kordekam sent me here to negotiate a distribution deal with the Democratic Trade Commission. Hold on. Before you run off to slit your wrists, let me tell you what I know. They have amazing technology. You would not believe the stuff they can do. They could be flying around here in stylized mechanoids in a beautiful zero-gravity city if they wanted to, but the whole planet is paralyzed by indecision and red tape. They can't get a damn thing done to save their lives. Everyone's an administrator. I haven't met one scientist or artist in six months. Look around you. Unimaginative middle management types are everywhere. I want to blow my brains out. And no one's in charge around here. They don't even have a commander in chief for their military. No one wants to be accountable, so they vote on everything. And if something bad happens, it's not any individual's fault. It's everyone's fault. I give him six months before they self-destruct. That's why I gotta get out of this place. Okay. Psst. This is my first date. How does it look like it's going? Um, maybe you shouldn't talk to strangers. It's creepy. Boy, I hope she doesn't think I'm dumb. I want her to like me. She's sitting right there, dude. I'm afraid to hold her hand. My palm's all sweaty. She, she's right here. His hand is totally sweaty. I can smell it from here. Ugh. I really like her. I hope she doesn't think it's weird that I keep talking to you. Hey, go talk to her. Distract her for a second. I need to formulate a new strategy. Sure. Uh, what a creep. Does he think I can't hear him talking to you? I'm sitting right here. Go tell him I think he's a loser. Don't bother. I heard. <laughs> uh, good luck. Uh, everyone has a voice. My foot. My friend doesn't. <laughs> uh, it's not how they mean it. Can I go? Eh, no. You there. What did you think about yesterday's shield proposal? Personally, I don't see the need for a permanent security shield around our home world. It's not like our planet's in any danger of getting attacked by outworlders. Right? You like us, don't you? Why would you ever want to make war on us? We're a peaceful people. Hey, what if I decided not to vote today? They'll find you and they'll club you over and over again. Sounds peaceful enough to me. <sighs> so difficult aiming my character. You there, do you have a... Yes, you're a person I need to talk to. I made friends with an outworlder many years ago when our society was not so isolationist. It wasn't long before this friend offered me Naki. I was young, I didn't know any better. Before I knew it, it was hooked. This is going to be about the drugs one, isn't it? It took me years to recover from the addiction. I will never trust an outworlder again. I'm proud to be an ally of the council. They're right in voting yes on Proposition 5. Outworlders who spread their poison into our society deserve to die. Trouble me no more. Cool. Only three more, so maximum ramp angle. Planet dweller deforestation of Wargi's forest. And will Puss Cafe be the official color of next year's festival of choice? Stay tuned. Out of the way. <sighs> right. Ooh. Shady dude. There are oh lady there are still some of us who believe the surface of the planet is where we belong you've been living up in this ring so long that we've lost touch with ourselves as a people we mustn't forget where we came from we mustn't pretend it never existed all right 
So you had nothing useful to say. Except so, some background information, I guess. That's cool. Uh, anything here? Uh, no, pal needs to come back for that one too. See you there! Security! I assume. I'm a vote cop. An officer of the law doesn't need to be buried in body armor to be an effective crime fighter. All I need is my stun wand and my reflexes. Alright. You there. Oh, the same dude again. Hello. Greetings, I am your interface for the Votown Lost and Found. I am a standard issue Buddy 12 B Bobot. I have no add on infrared interfaces. Advanced heuristics or remote communication skills of any kind. It is okay. I do not mind. I'm perfectly happy being on the very bottom rung of the very tall ladder of models of Beeblebot. It suits me fine that each and every other Beeblebot is leaps and bounds better than me. Nothing I like better than the bottom of the food chain existence here. Looking for useless items that my oh so smart masters have left behind. Stuff a pocket calculator could keep track of. But I digress. How may I help you, sir? Yeah, I'll help you. Oh, yes, please. Thank you so much for your kind assistance. Two bits of advice. Do not bother the council. Bebobots have scoured that area. And butler bots are constantly cleaning the Republic in. So the item must have been left around Votown somewhere. Hurry, because someone might find it and take it. Okay, get ready. Locate a blue desk lamp. Go! So that's a little uh, mini quest you can do here, I guess. Uh, although, they can be super annoying. So we'll just keep talking to people and maybe we'll find it on the way. That's that dude again, isn't it? I heard from a friend who works the hangar base at the sentry robots. I'm full alert. I swear, how can they have practice drills so often? Here the council's called an emergency session this morning. I bet they're just coming up with tomorrow's initiatives. Huh. Nothing here. Also, no blue desk lamp. Oh, they both have uh, greetings. I'm a buddy 12 bubbly Barbara personal assistant. I serve all my owner's emotional and filing needs. My owner is currently unavailable. We should have had a blueprint from the very beginning. You can't improvise architecture. Will you stop being so moody, Brutto? Be glad you're not stuck working on the surface of the planet. We're allies of the council. Let's act like it and focus. My buddy 12 just received a memo from the High Council detailing their decision on Proposition 1 about the angles of the ramps. The maximum ramp angle initiative? Who cares about that? Why don't we build a shell around the planet instead? <laughs> Pretend it never even existed. We could become new Democritus. <laughs> right, uh... Right, I'm sure the people of the planet will be happy with that. Never mind. One picture is enough. We'll have to get back to get Pal to do a couple of the things. Um, for example, this uh, bubbly Barbara has the information we need for the proposition one and our pal can probably link with that robot uh, we'll have a look here the republic inn because we also still need to know where the puss cafe will be the new color for the festival of choice uh -huh. so this is the republic inn I'm not apologizing first. I can't talk. Oh. That's odd. My cursor just goes right through him. No. 
unable to talk to this guy. Oh well. Nope. Again for pal. Colors A. I'm writing articles for Council News Nightly about two of today's initiatives, the Woggie Dog Herding Initiative and the Puss Cafe Initiative. I can't finish either one. Why not? I can't find Chief Representative for Surface Horticultural Agricultural Das Tasken anywhere, and I need his feedback. He will know better than anyone how the Council would vote on the dog herding issue. Das Tasken. We need to find that dude. I camped outside his room most of the afternoon. He's famous for always staying in room 401 at every hotel he goes to. He won his term of office by a mere 401 votes or something. So we'll have to go there. Meanwhile, I can't find Merle Joyd, the assistant to one of the high councilmen. He promised me an interview about Councilman Halpert's position on Proposition 4, the Puss Cafe initiative. I know he's staying at this hotel, but I haven't a clue what room. And to top it off, I don't think any of these colors is Puss Cafe. <laughs> Probably not. No. Not really. I'd assume Puss, Puss Cafe is like a sort of like creamy beige. Maybe I voted wrong. Maybe my one vote will be the one that upsets the balance of power in our democracy and bring it tumbling down around us. Oh no, the pressure. How do you sleep at night? I don't know. Save. So, room 401, eh? Uh, let's ask if this guy can tell us more about... Lots of important people stay at our hotel. Take Merle Joyd, for instance. He's an assistant to High Councilman Halpert. Yes, we know. We want to know where he's staying. I believe the two tape bros are staying on the third floor, but I can't tell you which room. We've had to reject three groupies and a cyborg in the last two hours. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> Hundred loonies, and I'll throw in a freebie. Uh, yeah, I've got money. 201 and beautiful film actress Betty Becky Hen is in suite 304. Yeah, yeah, I certainly won't. I guess we could have got that information probably from uh, linking pal up. But uh, I've got money. What's taking the elevator so long? Must be a lot of people coming down. Mm -hmm. Aha! I heard it. Ah, I'm going to delete this shot and uh, get a better one. <laughs> Actually, we can delete these too. Come back! Awesome. It's so cute. Who would want to eat um little aliens that soon? So help with the system staying in two oh one and room four oh one two oh three are they also waiting? I don't know, man. I think something's wrong. Dude, he'll come any time now. Maybe. 201, 204. Seems interesting. I'm sure he won't mind me accessing his sweep. Ah, no one home. 
but what's this after oh that's difficult to read because of the resolution uh high councilman help it after three furious days of endless debate these infernal idiots refuse to make puss cafe the official color of next year's festival oh no how terrible how will i ever face the puss cafe consortium after this crushing defeat my heart sings joy think of the children <laughs> Prepare an apologetic letter immediately. I'd rather they hear it from me first. Oh, P.S. There are scones. Ah, oh, can't read the rest. But scones. All right. So at least we know how he's going to vote. So it won't be the new color. Ah, oh, such a great color too. I think. Uh, which one do we have? We still need the maximum ramp ankle, but we'll need our pal for that one. And then the Wohi Forest one. And that's room 401. Right. <laughs> well, ow, ow, he could pull on his legs, that might sever his head. Sir, quit playing with the elevator doors. It's against regulations to obstruct the elevator. Oh, uh, yeah, um, maybe get someone more qualified to help you. 304, that's the actress, yeah. My career going down the toilets, I'm supplied with standard issue hard foam bevel <laughs> pillows. And now outworlders walk into my room and harass me while I rest. Please take all my belongings too, I'd hate for there to be an upside to the day. Don't worry, I won't look. Steal like all outworlders do. Go on. Uh, I guess. Damn it, you're making this so hard on me. Now I don't want to take it. Double up braces. I wonder what that does. And the heel grease. Good luck with your careers. Braces. Doubles weapon bonus for beat attacks. Aha, that is actually awesome. And I'm giving that to Boots. Uh, unless. Yeah, I'm giving that to Boots. And I'm giving. There's another floor? Right, uh, 402, oh hey. Stress eats at me like fem fever forehead rot. <laughs> Kalel? Do you have a son? Some dumb book. Not my type of science, but it is science. Hey, it's the Democritus method of science. That's where I learned the principles to construct plasma wall. I was 10. Make me feel bad, don't you? Since we're traveling the galaxy, I should keep my eye out for interesting reading like this. I could learn a lot. No? Okay. Well, so if you found books like that, uh, that's where uh, Ro can learn special battle skills from plasma wall is a pretty awesome one though. I don't think I've ever used 
any others. Yes, yes, the lift is stuck. Get gone, you jerk. There are reports of a red deputy loose in the building. If I don't find it tonight, they're gonna vote me off the security staff. I know where it is, but I'm not telling you. I'm probably going to eat it or something ridiculous. Haha! -ha! Look at all this loot. This is the room of the other council person, or the ally, uh, about the angle. What a crummy map, no legend, no directions, and these streets don't even make sense. It's giving me a headache, maybe the doctor can figure it out. Hint! Without a legend or directions, there's no frame of reference for this map, or is there? So her skill is analyzing. Um. Mm -hmm. this, and, uh. Oh, it needs to be right. I won't be able to do this. In time. It. So what is it? Meet here. So the key to effectively analyzing a problem is not to think too hard. Maybe a view from a higher vantage point might prove more illuminating. Let's try outside. We will. After we've investigated this entire building. Hello there. She keeps wriggling out of her ropes. Then tie them tighter. What are you talking about? She's already eaten all the food we left her. Already didn't let her starve. She's a motor mouse. Talks my bleeding ear off. Then gag her. Right, who are you talking about? That doesn't sound very... Uh, legal. All the way down. Can I talk to these dudes? I hate for you to hear it like this, Ted, but the fellas all took a vote and we've decided you should die. <laughs> what are you saying? You guys have voted to kill me? No, no, we don't think you should be killed. Not at all. We just think you should die. I can't believe it. When? Soon. Very soon. Can I call my wife? You can do whatever you want, Ted. <laughs> Poor Ted. Right, high vantage point, eh? Hey? So, how about up this ramp? And this ramp. Uh, check out the strange map here. Aha! Look at that. So if we go to that area over there. You there. If figures planet dwellers would be involved in all this business, when I received a map several days ago, it didn't take me long to determine the meeting spot. So here I am, here you are, where's my wife? <laughs> what wife? We just want to know the council stands on the Wogi initiative. Really? Just kidding. <laughs> Nobody kidnapped my wife. I'm just a big prankster. I don't even have a wife. The High Council will vote no on the Wogi Dort Herding initiative. You're welcome. Goodbye. Right. Mm hmm. Yeah. Good for you. 
I'm glad no one kidnapped your wife. That was weird. Alright, so we only have one more to figure out, but we'll need Pal for that, so um, actually I'm going to save here. And I'm going to have to go all the way back to where our spaceship is to pick up Pal. Uh, I think we'll leave Grumpos behind this time. Don't think we'll need him again for now. And we've been traveling with him for a while. He's not interested in politics. He just wants money. He just wants this uh, mystic. So. It's quite a long walk. There's no way to do this without retracing all your steps because you need all of their abilities in order to uh, get the information you need. So let's take power with us. I don't like this place, yeah. Uh, Grumpos can stay behind. And let's get back. Uh, no, I'm over right 